Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at investment markets. Uh, I'm still waiting for this deal to come through on the trade talks between uh, China and the US. Um, sort of keep on sort of teasing us that a deal is very close. And certainly the market is taking quite a bit of comfort at that and, you know, uh, it's sort of trading higher on the back of it. Um, but yet to see the final deal put in place. But as stated here before, you know, I think there was very little uh, danger. There wasn't going to be a deal. Um, both sides need it. Um, and so it's just a question of sort of seeing the, the, the sort of final uh, um, wording um, and how it's put into place. Now that's sort of quite interesting as well because it comes on the back of some pretty encouraging uh, data out of China as well. Um, their latest PMI survey was, uh, was really pretty strong, 50.5. Uh, uh, market was looking for sort of sub 40, 49. That comes on the back of some pretty encouraging manufacturing data as well. So just maybe the policies that were put in place uh, last year, sort of uh, structural changes in, uh, in, in terms of the uh, Chinese economy are starting to take effect. So certainly global growth looking slightly better now and it's just going to be interesting to see if it can be sustained over the next sort of two to three quarters. Now certainly from the US perspective, that could be quite interesting for the Fed, you know, having come out now and said that, yeah, you know, potentially uh, that there's no further uh, hikes this year. Um, certainly the data coming out of the US was a little bit on the soft side, but now if you're starting to see a little bit of recovery out there in the global economy, and that should then benefit the US economy. it would just be very interesting to see how the sort of Fed plays that and uh, what impact it has on the dot plot. The other big news out of the U.S. is obviously the, uh, the, the Mueller report, um, you know, quite interesting as well. Uh, you know, two, two different takes on it. Um, President Trump has come out and said, you know, complete exoneration. Uh, you know, there was no collusion. There was no, uh, no evidence of anything, um, you know, completely exonerated. But if you actually read the report, um, they just couldn't find enough evidence to, uh, to support the claims. Um, and uh, Mueller was quite uh, clear it did not completely exonerate the president. So where we go from here, not quite sure. You know, the Democrats are going to try and drill down a little bit further and just see exactly what was in the report and what the evidence was and uh, potentially see if they can take that further. Now we'll see on the back of the sort of uh, global growth pickup, um, you've seen oil spike a little bit higher. Um, WTI is now above 60 bucks, uh, Brent is pushing 70. And again, just going kind of interesting to see how it sort of plays through. Certainly if uh, the growth potential out there for the global economy does continue, then you would expect oil to trade a little bit higher. The debacle that is Brexit continues to roll on. Um, it, it's really just astounding that uh, you know, the, you know, the politicians in the UK um, are, are paid to serve and govern the country. At present, they just have no clue as to what's going on. Um, they can't even agree on anything. And uh, you know, all the time, the clock is ticking.
And you've now got the quite ludicrous uh, situation where they have voted to uh, make sure that uh, the UK doesn't have a hard Brexit uh, with the no, no deal in place. But yet every deal that's put forward, they can't get a majority to pass it. A complete and utter mess. We now have about uh, 10 days to sort things out before April the 12th. Here in New Zealand, it appears there's almost a complete U-turn from the uh, Reserve Bank. Um, you know, while talking that uh, they, they, they were just looking to keep rates on hold, potentially you no know, hike was coming until sort of uh, late 2019, maybe 2020. Um, the latest uh, meeting, um, the commentary that came out with that was potentially with, uh, you know, the softer global environment. Um, a cut was potentially on the cards again. Hadn't been ruled out. Now that's really quite interesting. You've got the OCR at record low levels of 1.75. Um, you know, some uh, economists now are predicting uh, maybe 1.5 by June and potentially 1.25 by the end of the year. Now that's obviously a pretty major change uh, for, for New Zealand and there's some pretty major implications out there obviously for bonds but also as well for, uh, um, for savers on uh, term deposits. So, you know, if you are looking for income options out there, there are plenty of alternatives available. Call us on 0800 867 323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern uh, continued her charm offensive out there, finally got the meeting with China, um, although obviously it's been uh, sort of curtailed a little bit in terms of uh, time horizon with the events in Christchurch. But, you know, certainly I think that was pretty important for, for New Zealand, the New Zealand economy, and more importantly for the relationship with China, um, our largest trading partner. A little bit of activity out there as well on the fixed interest side. Um, Heartland Bank uh, looking at a bond. Uh, if you're interested in that, call us on 0800 867 323. So despite all the sort of doom and gloom that was coming through in the sort of first quarter, um, you know, we've got through that quarter now and, uh, you know, potentially global growth doesn't look too bad going forward for the next sort of couple of quarters. And it's just going to be very interesting to see how it sort of plays out. But certainly not all the doom and gloom that everyone was expecting. Um, I suppose the, uh, uh, you know, the biggest thing to get sorted out next is, the, say, the US-China trade deal. Also as well, it's a pretty good time to look and just check those KiwiSaver balances um, and look for the uh, employee contributions or the contributions made by uh, individuals um, just to try and maximise that tax credit. If you're unsure on what they are, call us on 0800 867 323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles and we look forward to speaking to you soon.